The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul, one minute and 55 seconds. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This uh, continued uh, debate that has gone on about uh, our rescue programs that we have been devising is confirmation, I believe, that there's very little understanding as to how we got into this mess. And as long as we continue to do the wrong things, I don't see any solution. But if we got here by spending too much money, borrowing too much money, inflating too much money, the Federal Reserve too involved in central economic planning through manipulation of interest rates, and the Congress passing too many regulations, as long as we think that's benign, has nothing to do with it, then I guess it seems very logical that we come up by spending more money, borrowing more money, printing more money and writing more regulations and think that we're going to get different results. But we don't. It seems to me today that the big argument is who the central economic planner is. Uh, is it the Treasury? Or is it the Congress? Is it the FDIC? Is it the Federal Reserve? Believe me, central economic planning doesn't work. That's why we're in this mess. And that's why we have all the malinvestment, all the bad debt. If we're looking for a solution, we have to have liquidation of debt. We don't want to prop up the bad debt. The problem was created by bad policy. But as long as you delay the liquidation of debt and the malinvestment, the longer the agony will be. But to now devise a system where we're going to buy up these bad assets, these worthless assets, and dump them on the American taxpayer is absurd. It makes no sense whatsoever. What we need is a little bit of confidence that a market economy works and get away from the central economic planning and quit arguing over who's going to be the central economic planner. Believe me, it doesn't work. It's been tried. The 20th century was supposed to have proved that it doesn't work. But here we are, we're giving up on it, more government, more spending, and more debt.